The Empire graciously welcomes you to Vos Orbital. Ambassador Yoran deeply regrets that he was unable to greet you personally. I've been instructed to emphasize the delicate situation you're walking into before you head for the surface. The Ambassador is concerned that your business could jeopardize the Empire's interests on Vos. My employer would argue otherwise. It's just that your kind aren't known for stepping lightly, you understand? The Vos are stubbornly isolationist and abundantly aware of their own value to the Republic and the Empire. It is vital that the Empire fosters goodwill. You must remain on your best behavior. All right, enough. I get it. Good. There are a few laws you need to be aware of. The Vos abhor discord and don't tolerate violence within their territory. You'll mix peacefully with the enemy here. The Vos revere their mystics. D deal carefully with them, or, or preferably not at all. Also, outsiders are barred from Voskar proper. Should I be taking notes? No, no, those are the only specific points. Just use common sense. I will let Ambassador Yoran know to expect you. Head to his office once you've landed. Have a safe visit. So, we all have to play nice. I wouldn't count on anyone buying us the first round. That's why I've got you around, big guy. You came promptly. Thank the stars. The less time you spend mixing with the locals, the better. I trust my aide was quite explicit in informing you of the need for discretion here. I'm aware of your concerns, Ambassador. You haven't heard half of my concerns, Bounty Hunter, but this business with you is at the top of the list. That said, I look forward to being rid of General Redrish. That woman will be the death of me, if you aren't. Enough with the doom and gloom. I'm not here to listen to you whine. Perhaps plotting the General's undoing will put me in a better mood. The Empire has lost a number of newly conquered worlds due to her interference, and we may well lose this one unless she's removed. Unfortunately, we're going to have to take the roundabout course, push her into the open. How about you tell me where to point my gun and I get out of your hair? As much as I'd love that, we must be discreet. Imperial intelligence suspects that she's behind the guerrilla attacks on our forces here, but we can't prove it. I believe your best course of action would be to root out General Redrich's officers in the field and gather evidence of her involvement. You're telling me I can't touch her, but I can shoot up her officers? You can't touch her here. Out in the wilderness, away from prying eyes, anything could happen. I'm afraid casualty reports are all we have to go on. You'll have to search around the ambush points for signs of the enemy. Take this hollow recorder. If you make any discoveries, transmit the evidence to my frequency. If you insist, but I want copies for my scrapbook. Oh, for my own sanity, I'm going to pretend you're taking this seriously. Perimeter, report. Perimeter, those charges prime, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Those charges primed yet? Stars, that was fast. No time! Hit him with everything we've got! It looks worse than it is. They were counting on the explosives to finish the job. Or they were hoping we'd get sloppy and blow ourselves to bits. Wouldn't put it past them, but I don't think they got that far. Enough compound here to widen this hole by another kilometer. Fox Nest compromised. Full retreat. Operation Cayman underway. Final transmission. Carrier one out. Carrier 1 to Peregrine. The garrison at Fort Cadenth appears to be sending out patrols of Imperial troops. Flights recalled and circling. What's the situation, General? Please advise. Peregrine... has to be General Redrish. Harrier 1, expect more. Yorin's convinced the Voss to allow Imperial troops to bolster Voskar's defenses against the Gormak. Monitor their patrols. If they stray too far, show the Voss how ill-prepared Imperials are for Gormak attacks. Peregrine out. That'll teach him not to scrub the drives. I've got something for you. Transmitting now. Now? What have we here? Oh, this is better than I could have hoped. 
I might even convince the Voss to hand her over for trial with this. Pull that off and I might kiss you. Let's try to not get carried away. I'll handle things from here. Return to my office and lay low until I return. Hunter, have you returned? Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter. Whatever you're doing, stop. I need you here immediately. And I need you to take a deep breath. So let's start there. I have every reason to be in hysterics. General Redwish has something up her sleeve, and whatever it is involves you. The Voss have agreed to hear the accusations I've made against General Redrish, but they've also agreed to her request to face her accuser. She named you specifically to be called to account and submit to questioning. Definitely sounds like she's up to something. She'll likely make a spectacle of you, but we don't have much choice. This is the Assembly Hall's location. Hurry, I don't want the Voss to think we're stalling. I apologize that the Empire has decided to waste your time today. You won't smooth things over with a smile this time. The evidence of your guilt is as plain as day. Your hollow recordings? I was really expecting you to have fabricated something a little more tangible, Ambassador. And your only witness is a known terrorist. Never been convicted, but I'm not the one on trial here. No, you're not. But your character is. You're a Mandalorian. Your people have made unprovoked acts of war against the Republic, and conducted genocides against entire species. Do you deny it? Wouldn't know. I just joined. Tell us, how do you acquire this evidence of yours? Over a lot of dead bodies. Your friends, mostly. Your cover story is that you murdered Republic officials? This is exactly why I asked to face my accuser. The Empire expects you to take the word of a hired killer, instead of a respected official who's proven her commitment to the Voss people time and again. You will remember it is I who agreed to make the pilgrimage to the Shrine of Healing to show my solidarity with the Voss. An idle promise. <laughs> my associate can just as easily agree to make this pilgrimage. Then take the trials, outsiders. That will reveal true character. We have concluded. You have shown us much. Safe journeys. It appears I've been spared. My soldiers' deaths were not in vain. I've spent months preparing for the trials. They're going to kill you. Ambassador? That went about as I expected. As to this trials business, I had to show the Voss we are willing to do anything the Republic will do. You understand? Have you thought this through, or were you just blowing hot air? These trials are obviously deadly. If General Redrish were not to return from her pilgrimage, it would hardly be unexpected. I'll make sure she has an out-of-body experience. Just make sure it happens away from prying eyes. Fadith Kai is an influential figure at the Pilgrim Camp, and is not hostile to us. See if he has any insight on getting you into this Shrine of Healing. Outsider, my master saw you were coming. He awaits in the Cloister of Meditation. There's someone else I need to find. Another outsider, a woman. Seen her? My master knows of whom you speak. You will see him. Yeah, I'll see him. The cloister of meditation is near, but secluded. Follow the silence. Pilgrims are so few now, and outsiders. I'm looking for another pilgrim. Your messenger said you'd know who I mean. The visionary without visions. I spoke with her. Change has come to Voss. Voss must come to change. The outsider woman you seek will be the agent of that change. Do you know where I can find her or not? She told me you would follow. And your intentions. Hey, what gives? You guys aren't supposed to be taking sides. Stay in peace and leave in time. No harm will come unless you resist. You break your neutrality, you'll regret it. We are prepared for force. Restrain him. My gift is not foresight. But I see your fate is not for us to decide. That mean you won't try anything else? We cannot stop what must come to pass. The human woman has gone. 
She has left for Goma Kos. Our hope goes with her. She can't have gone far. I do not know her journey's path. Commanders stand vigil over Goma Kos. Their commander may witness the outsider's passing. If word of this scuffle gets out, I'll be paying you another visit. The fault was ours. Go in peace. Outsider, rest. Take shelter. Return home. Only Gormak territory lays beyond. Thanks, but trespassing comes with a job. One outsider has already been taken by the Gormak today. This outsider happened to be a human female? Yes, it was. The Gormak attacked. She surrendered. She wasn't looking for a fight. Normally, the enemy knows only murder. The woman was taken towards the Gormak beast pens. Her fate is sealed. Can't wait to see the look on her face when I pull her rear out of the fire. I will point out the place. Be cautious. Oh boy, I don't think we're the crowd favorite. Hand over the outsider you captured, and nobody else has to get hurt. Okay. What's with all this pure, impure business? The woman's got a knack for getting people to see things her way. You know where they took her? Better late than never. I'll show you the ropes, if it gets me out without trouble. The less you have to think before you act, the better. Then for Vutagan Achnan Chok Tontai, Vebegor Nesafun. Nigo Woy that Woy Chakamran. Kongi Woy He Triole. I'll try not to lose my head. Kong Nigo Woy Bam Nui Chotai Fai Lai Angor Sun E Lam Sayo. Huavaska Bam Kig Nagung Ham Trong Wang Lao. The Chao Trocha. I expected we'd cross paths again, but not here. 
You're keeping interesting company these days, General. It's not hard to find people who share a desire for peace and prosperity. A Mandalorian wouldn't understand. I'm so close to getting these people on speaking terms, and you're about to throw it all away. For what, money? Tell me you're not that petty. You're between me and a man spouting lies. Nothing personal. I think that's a small sacrifice for peace. Nothing personal. Show him what you're made of! Wait! Cease fire! This is a losing battle. If you're giving up, get on with it. You've done all you can. This is my fight to lose. This is a pivotal moment in this planet's history. I won't let our squabbles get in the way. If you'll allow these Gormak to return home, I'll lay down my weapon. You're gonna sacrifice yourself for perfect strangers? No. I'm going to keep them from sacrificing themselves for something as insignificant as my life. Jedi and Sith waged war here centuries ago, both manipulating these people into fighting their battles for them. It's all painted here on these walls. Now, we've come full circle. These people deserve better than to be exploited by galactic politics. Give them a fighting chance. Couldn't care less about the Gormak. You think they'll really make peace? I hope so. Thank you. Go. Others need to know what we found here. Do what you came to do. Hold that pose. I had her pegged all wrong. We're done here. I've captured General Redrish. You're back! Oh, I hadn't heard one word since you left for the trials. I thought she'd got the best of you. I suppose no news is good news in this case. If you'd raised any suspicion capturing her, I'd have heard about it. Whatever General Redrish's plans were, it seems we've avoided the fallout. Chasing her was like running through a minefield. Debating her wasn't much different, but arguably less deadly. This is the most relieved I've felt in months. I might even actually sleep tonight. Take this with my gratitude. It'll complement the sum of credits Darth Tormund sent quite nicely. I may not work cheap, but I earned this. You'll get no argument from me. I'll send word of your success to Darth Tormund promptly. Farewell. My subordinates tell me that you dealt with the privateer and the Kowati woman. When do I get my hands on June Siros? Soon. The campaign on Raban is coming to a close. I will direct my forces towards a full-scale assault on Corellia. Rendezvous with my flagship, the Tyrant, in Raban's outsystem. I am Captain Evelyn, commanding officer of the Tyrant. You are Darth Tormund's bounty hunter? What's with a blaster fire in the background? We've been boarded. The situation is bad. Republic Special Forces slipped on board during our troop withdrawal. They've completely overrun the command decks. It won't be long before we lose the bridge. If you act quickly, we might be able to turn things around. Darth Tormund can't handle this himself? He went to deal with the attackers personally, but his soldiers are sealed off from the bulk of the fighting. The boarders initiated a complete lockdown, trapping our defenders and the subdecks. I need you to undo their tampering. With their overrides disabled, we can unseal the lock decks from the bridge, so Darth Tormund and his soldiers can retake control. Give me the where and how. I'm transmitting the location of the ship's network junctions. Restore the systems and we can handle the rest. I've opened the docking bays and disabled our weapons. You can make a safe landing if you hurry. The window of opportunity is... Now or never. If we're going to land, we better do it before the boarders get the turbo lasers back online. The Imperials aren't gonna save themselves. Never do. You must be the bounty hunter Captain Evelyn contacted. Thanks for the rescue. Once they killed the captain, we thought the fight was as good as done. I've had way tougher jobs. We aren't out of the fire yet. We need a few minutes to override the lockdown, but we're finished if we have to hold off another attack. Will you assist in defending the bridge? I didn't blast through here because I was bored. Oh, uh, no, of course not. Um, thank you. Get those lower decks unsealed, ASAP.
My, my lord, it's a relief to see you unscathed. Where is Captain Evelyn? I, he, the, the captain's dead, sir, my lord. And yet you avoided his fate. Yes, I, I mean, no. We were sur- Well, I'm not sleeping tonight. I have you to thank for a ship. Yeah, you're welcome. Have this ship operational by the time we are finished. I am mobilizing my entire division to Corellia. Their rebellion will be crushed. Corellia will fall, but military victory will not be enough. I do not want the Republic merely defeated. They must submit. A win's a win. We will not make martyrs. The people will see their heroes broken and the Republic fail them. There is a massive resistance supporting the Republic's defense of Corellia. You will secure the rebel leaders. I will make them kneel. When the Rebellion bows before Corellia's rightful leaders, our trap will be set. What's the Rebellion got to do with Jun Siros and the Supreme Chancellor? If Corellia is conquered, the Republic will send troops. If Corellia secedes, the Republic must rely on diplomacy. A compact will be signed publicly. Corellia's governor will demand that the Supreme Chancellor ratify the treaty and withdraw Republic forces. The Supreme Chancellor will have to acknowledge that the Corellians have chosen Imperial rule. But not before Jun Seros convinces him that his Jedi can turn the tide. I've only seen Seros operate through proxies. He was undefeated on every front he led during the last war. He will not sit idle while Corellia falls. I have sent my forces ahead, under command of General Krau. Meet with him and proceed according to plan. When the Tyrant is hyperspace capable, I will join you. <laughs>